Why is it that Paul of Tarsus taught that the rules Jews had to follow, like circumcision, avoiding shellfish, etc., did not apply to Christians? After all, we have good reason to believe that Jesus himself followed these rules, and the early Christians, including Paul, identified as Jews. The common apologist response is that the crucifixion of Jesus created a new covenant. The laws Jews had to follow were the stipulations of the first covenant they had with Yahweh, but when Jesus died for our sins, this established a new covenant, the only stipulation of which is that you accept him as your Lord and Savior. This is interesting in that it is essentially an admission of moral relativism. Whether or not it is moral to eat shellfish is relative to whether the Old Covenant or New Covenant is in effect. This was not always the interpretation applied. A document that nearly made it into the Bible but was ultimately not included was the letter of Barnabas. Barnabas believed that the old rules were still in effect, but that they ought not be taken literally. Barnabas explains how these laws ought to be interpreted in the most epic exercise of hermeneutic contortionism I have ever seen. Jews circumcise their baby boys. Barnabas thinks this is a ridiculous literal interpretation. You shouldn't, you, 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 no, you're not supposed to be circumcising your baby boy. Well, what is circumcision? Barnabas points out that, the, uh, that God gave the sign of circumcision to Abraham. And Barnabas talks about how Abraham was told to circumcise the 318 servants of his that went off to save the, uh, the, the nephew of Abraham, Lot, who had been captured by some other foreign kings. And so he circumcised 318. And so what does that mean? Why 318? Well, Barnabas points out that in, in the Greek Old Testament, 318, the, the, way that, uh, ancient, uh, the, the way that ancient languages wrote out numbers was by taking letters of the alphabet. And each letter had a numerical value. And so if you write out 318 in Greek, it's, uh, it'd be a tau, that looks like an English T, and then a uh, iota, which is like a J, and then an eta, which is like an E. So it's T, J, E. And he points out T looks like a cross. And J and E are the first two letters in the name Jesus. Circumcision is the cross of Jesus. Check out Bart Ehrman's full lecture on the subject. There's a link in the description.